Welcome to Fanatics Live, where we virtually connect you with your favorite stars and athletes right at home. Tonight, we will be meeting with fans, signing autographs, and engaging in live Q&A. Now, let's welcome our host. Hey, everybody. Welcome into Fanatics Live, where we bring your favorite athletes to you right at home. I'm your host, Doug Plagans, and we've got a very special show and a very special guest joining us here in just a moment. But before we get too far along, I want to remind you that today's show is brought to you by the Fan Cash Rewards Card by Fanatics. As a Fan Cash Rewards Card holder, you receive benefits and perks, including access to unforgettable experiences with athletes earn 6% fan cash on every purchase, exclusive deals, offers, and much more. Well, as I said, we have a special guest coming your way here today. And, well, he was a first-team All-Pro this past season, a first-time Pro Bowler. He set an NFL record for rushing touchdowns in a season by a wide receiver. He's one of the most electrifying players in the National Football League today. Joining us from the San Francisco 49ers, he is Debo Samuel. Debo, thanks for stopping by. And Debo, your nickname, it's inspired by the character in the movie Friday that everybody was afraid of, yet you seem like such a nice guy. What's going on there? <laughs> How are you? Thanks for being here tonight. I'm good. Thanks for having me. I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm doing pretty good. Well, great to have you here. And I know we got a lot of things we want to get to. We're going to have a rapid fire portion coming up later on in the show. We're going to have a meet and greet portion coming up here in a few moments where we'll take some questions from some folks who are patiently waiting backstage. We'll have some questions coming in from social media as well. But Debo, I wanted to ask you a couple things right out of the gate here, because obviously you're coming off a monster season this past campaign in 2021. I want to turn the clock back a little bit, though, because 2020 – was a little bit of an injury plague season for you. What was the preparation like for you coming into 2021? And did you know that this past season was going to be the breakout season that it turned out to be? Did you feel like you had that in you? Uh, I'll just go back to what you said first. Um, kind of go back to the injury part. Uh, the way I was training, um, I was preparing myself to have the year that I had this year, um, knowing that we lost the Super Bowl. So I kind of had a chip on my shoulder, like, all right, let's let's try to get back to doing what we did to get there and actually try to get the win. So um, in the mix of training, you know, I end up breaking my foot. So um, come back that year and I know myself, I'm not I'm not fully healthy. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do everything possible to help the team win at, you know what I'm saying, at least 70 percent, if that. But uh, kind of kept that chip on my shoulder this uh, in 2021 offseason just to prepare myself to do the things that I was able to do this year for staying in shape and doing all the things that kind of prevent me from being injury free. And everything really just came together. And I wanted to ask you about that as well, because we all know you're the self-proclaimed wide back <laughs> and you're one of the most exciting players in the game. And we've seen in history, we've seen a lot of great running backs who become great pass catchers, going back to guys like Marshall Falk, Niners great Roger Craig, who was the first 1,000-1,000 guy. You look at a guy in the league now, Christian McCaffrey. But in recent years, the success that you've had in your role and a guy like Corderell Patterson also, uh, you know, looking at this wide back role, do you think this is something that could be a trend in the league as the years go on, seeing the success that a guy like you's having? Um. I mean, you know, I was just not in the humblest way. Uh, South Carolina guys are a different kind of breed. You know, you got a uh, Cordell Patterson, as you just mentioned, and uh, me. So um, it's it's kind of hard to say. It's kind of something that people will try to continue in this league because it's very rare that you find many guys that can play receiver and go play running back in, in my eyes. Um, I kind of felt kind of natural back there because all my life I was a, I was a running back until, you know, um, getting to college. Yeah, I feel like you got to have the right guy for the job, the right system, the right personnel to to really make everything work. And I guess in mentioning that, you play for a really innovative offensive head coach in Kyle Shanahan. And your offensive coordinator this past season, Mike McDaniel, he's now the head coach of the Miami Dolphins. And in mentioning Coach McDaniel specifically, how do you think he made an impact on you, your game, your development? Um, not to mention, you know, uh, me and McDaniel became kind of real close when I got there, but it kind of got really well, um, uh, really close this, this season. Uh, I say it started after we had the joint practice with, uh, the Chargers 
And we was meeting at 6 o'clock a.m. every morning. Uh, and it just carried on from there. We went from 6 o'clock, and then we had stopped it as the season went on. But every Monday and Tuesday, it's like kind of off days. I always stop by his office and chop it up about the game. And not only just football, but just things in general. And we became real close. Um, I actually had dinner with him like two two days ago because I was I trained down here in Miami, and I knew he was here. I was just like, hey, man, you know, I kind of miss you. Let's just go have dinner, you know. That's awesome. And he made a, an impact on you. And it sounds like you guys had uh, just a, a great relationship. So uh, thanks for your time there. And I want to shift gears now and get into our meet and greet uh, portion of the program here, Debo, if that's OK. Debo Samuel, our guest here on Fanatics Live this evening. And as we go into the meet and greet, first up, we've got Brian in Highland, Utah, who's going to be joining us. And Brian, I'm jealous of you. Because, Brian, you attended your first NFL game when you were eight at Candlestick Park. I wish I could have gotten to a game uh, out at Candlestick Park. Let's bring in Brian in Utah right here on Fanatics Live. Brian, welcome in. Hey. Hey, Debo. How you doing? I'm good. How y'all doing? Nice uniforms. Thank you. <laughs> for the home team. Of course. Hey, we, I, I had a question. Just, we have, we've got four kids. Unfortunately, our oldest is not here. He's at a lacrosse game right now. Uh -huh. but any motivational advice that you have for young athletes? Um, motivational advice, uh, kind of me, uh, without my parents, like my dad was my coach. So it was kind of motivation there, but you know what I'm saying? As, as you grow, your parents not going to always be like right in your hip pocket. You have to have the, the determination and everything in you to, to push yourself because not i mean it's in this professional world like in the off season the coaches is not calling you actually you as you train and you have to be like self-motivated so just keeping the back of your head that you know what i'm saying you have to push yourself everybody's not going to be there to push you great i love it justin here had, had a question for you that you want to what do you think was your best play Ooh. <laughs> <sighs> Ah, it was a lot of them. I, I'll just take it back to the Rams game when I threw the touchdown to Jawan Jennings. That was awesome. That was one of many. <laughs> <laughs> we love watching it. it. It was a great season, and we, we look forward to next year, and hopefully we'll get, get them out to come see a home game here for the coming year. Ooh, got something for you. Oh, nice. Yeah. And you got the number one wide back inscription on there. That's unique. Yeah. That's awesome. From the number one wide back himself. Thank you, Debo. Very no cool. problem. <laughs> thank you very much, Brian in Utah, chiming in on uh, Fanatics Live. We thank you very much for being here with us tonight. And now we are going to go from Utah to New Jersey. Our next guest coming in from New Jersey, we've got Mike and Josiah. And Mike is a Fan Cash Rewards card holder. So, Mike, thanks very much for that. And a bucket list item that he completed. He said he saw the Niners play on the road in Philadelphia. Let's welcome in Mike and Josiah here this evening from New Jersey. Yo. You're on Fanatics Live with Yo. Debo Samuel. Debo, slime, baby. Let's slime. go. Yes, sir. Uh, we here. Wow, this is great, man. What an awesome experience, man. How you doing? Oh, uh, we we doing great right now, man. Yes, sir. How you doing? How you doing, little man? I'm doing good, man. Oh. You play ball? Uh, I'm starting to get into it a little bit. I've been watching you play, and I've, I've got inspired, man. That's good. That's good. Hey, go be that dog out there, man. You already know, man. Debo, my question to you, man, you as being a hybrid back, now, nah, hybrid, you know, role that you're playing with the Niners and running back and wide receiver, how do you think this is going to affect your career? Because we need you around as long as we can, man. <laughs> it's a tough, tough uh, moment. Yeah. I kind of – I kind of – me and Kyle actually had this talk uh, – being being a, a wide out and a running back, it did, it really didn't take a toll on my body as as people say. Why? Because you know it's only certain amount of running plays I have a game, which it kind of seems like seems like a lot because I have the ball a lot, but it's really not that many plays. So um, after the game, I don't be too much sore or, or bruised up, uh, but it, it's 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 not that it's not that much of a a horse on your body as people think. Well, you consider the LeBron James of football right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Well, we appreciate everything you do, man. And we buy, you know, the quest for six is still alive. You know what I mean? We here all day. Yes, sir. Got some nice coming for you. Hey, just here in a second. Uh, 
Here we go. No, Debo all day, baby. Yes, sir. Let's do it. How long yes. you guys been? How long you guys been Niners fans? Oh man, I'm 45 years old. I got about 45 years doing it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There no, you man. go. The time you take for the peoples, man, is much appreciated, man. Yes, sir. You know, best of luck this year, man. We'll be watching. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Mike and Josiah in New Jersey, we thank you guys very much for being on board again. And thanks, Mike, for being a Van Cash Rewards card holder. An awesome signed helmet right there from Debo. We're going to keep things in New Jersey with our next guest. We've got Jason and John joining us now from Farmingdale, New Jersey. And Jason told me a little bit ago a bucket list item that he completed. He went diving with great white sharks in South Africa. Uh, I think Debo and I might have some questions about the great white sharks there. Let's bring in uh, Jason and John here on Fanatics Live. Hey, you guys are on with Debo. How you doing, Jason and John? How you doing, Debo? How you doing? I'm good. How was, uh, before we get into everything, how was um, diving with sharks? Good. I was on a trip in South Africa and, you know, you see the sharks and then one thing that they say, okay, it's time to get in the cage. And then you put on a wetsuit and I weigh like 250 pounds. So once I put that wetsuit on, I looked like a dead seal and those things started hitting, it, hitting that cage. I said, I got to get out of here. Oh, you, was, you got scared? Yeah, it, it was definitely an experience though. You yeah, know? then we went. Uh, I, wouldn't, went I wouldn't do that one. In, uh, at Martha's Vineyard in 2020, we did uh, Mako Sharks, but again, it was... One actually almost went in the cage, but it, it was a great time. We we got all the footage. If you get in the cage, it might eat you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Good question. So uh, our question was, who was like your NFL hero and role model when you were growing up? Um, With me playing running back growing up, uh, I always liked Reggie Bush. But as I, uh, as I transferred to wide receiver, I started to like Julio Jones, uh, one of the best, you know, receivers to play. Yeah, Great. that's awesome. Yeah, I'm just really inspired by you and how you play. And, you know, I'm watching Red Zone and I see all your rushing touchdowns and you got like 25 fantasy points. It's like, oh, my God, Devo Samuel again. So, uh, you know, it's just, I'm, you know, congratulations on the season you had because it really Thank you so much, man. Thank season, you so much. You know, to have all those rushing touchdowns and receiving touchdowns and running all over the field. It's just, it's on, and then kick being a kick returner later in the year. So keep it going. You got your, you got a great future, especially in San Francisco. So keep it going. This is our year. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We got something nice for you too, man. You know, we got you a, a never nice give up. up. Appreciate it. Never give up. Awesome. Man. That's your motto never for this up. year. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Have a beautiful yes, sir. day. Have a good year. Have a great day, Diva. Good luck this you year. You too. Thanks very much, Jason and John, with some inspirational words there on the inscription as well. Debo Samuel, one of the most electrifying players in the National Football League, here with us tonight. And last but certainly not least, Debo, we've got one more guest coming in who's been patiently waiting backstage. Marvin is coming in, and he's coming to us from Debo Samuel country in the great state of South Carolina this evening. Hey. He's coming to us from Monk's Corner, South Carolina. Said he's been a fan of yours since the Gamecocks days. He's followed you into uh, the National Football League ranks, and he says if he played in the NFL, he would want to uh, be a defensive end to get after those quarterbacks. But let's bring in <laughs> our friend Marvin here uh, this evening on Fanatics Live. Marvin down in South Carolina, how are you? And you got the Gamecock, Gamecock shirt, you yes, got the sir. Gamer shirt. We got it Everybody all, baby. We got it all. Hey, we got you right here, Debo. We got you right here with a side and steel, baby. Yes, sir. Oh, mess it up. Uh, my question was uh, about the motivation, but since you already answered that, I want to ask you a two-part question. Number one, we heard about your motivation, but we want to know, since I'm a family man, how you feel about being a new daddy, and what does that do to help boost your motivation for him? <laughs> uh, I kind of start off, uh, I kind of, uh, like with having a son, when, when I found out I, I was having a child, I think it gave me uh, like dad powers, kind of like superpowers out there on the field. And um, he was born in December. Um, so you kind of seen how, to, how I actually, started i wouldn't say started playing a little harder it just knew i had a son but uh having a little one you know everything that you do everything like literally every step you take is is for him and the family so uh it's just it's just motivation to me every day knowing i have a child and you know what i'm saying every chance i get i call him i see him 
um, all those things. But it's just crazy being a parent and everything that you do is for him. That's awesome, man. I remember when uh, when uh, your wife was about to have the baby and they were saying, question, is he going to be at the game? He's not going to be at the game? I said, man, that's tough, but Depot's going to play. Oh, what's so crazy about that? Uh, I actually thought he was going to be born before the Tennessee game. So, like, that week I probably flew, like – I probably flew every day back and forth to North Carolina. That's why I was kind of so tired out there in the game because I haven't had any practice all week long. Yeah, we actually got to see you at the Jacksonville game, man. We were the I, I was sitting right on the sideline by by your team, and uh, we just started the chance. Debo, Debo, Debo. I had to start it all day long, man. But uh, we appreciate you, man. Um, I hope you get the big money you deserve, man, and uh, take care of that baby. And congratulations on being a father, man. I hope you have many more kids and you love it, man. Just remember to always tell them like I tell mine. You ain't did nothing. I hadn't did, so don't try to put it past me. Correct. I, I really appreciate it. We got something nice for you too, man. Real quick, man. This is my wife, Gary. This is my daughter, Haley, man. We love you. When you score a touchdown, this one right here about throwing haymakers. I got to block myself, brother. <laughs> we enjoy it, man. Appreciate yes, it. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Go not Marvin. Marvin and family in South Carolina, thank you very much. And you had the what bike inscription on the helmet there, which is a Friday reference. Love the movie. And uh, couldn't have said it better myself. Congratulations, Devo, on the little one. And with that, that concludes the meet and greet. But we also like to keep things open to the folks on social media. And, uh, folks, we have some questions coming in. Remember, you can follow along on uh, on Instagram, follow at Fanatics on Instagram, and you can watch for the stories where you could submit your questions and maybe get them read and answered on a future edition of Fanatics Live. So, Debo, we are going to move now into a question that was submitted from Instagram. This is Matt joining us on Instagram. Matt, what do you have for us? How's it, Debo? My name is Matthew Genevi, and I'm a proud member of the Fanatics Ambassador uh, team out in Los Angeles, California. Um, I just want to thank yourself and also Fanatics for allowing me to ask you this question today. And a uh, big shout out to Fanatics for always being my number one source for all my apparel needs, especially for this shirt. Um, anyway, with that said, as a former Gamecock, uh, I was wondering what are what were your favorite memories from the University of South Carolina? Um, again, really appreciate your time and, you know, good luck this season. And as a Steelers, Steelers fan, please take it easy on my Pittsburgh Steelers whenever you play them. But other than that, good luck the rest of the way and keep showing them why you're the best in the NFC West. All right. Aloha. Okay. So your, your great South Carolina memories there, Debo. And I've, I've thought about this. As a fan, I've never been to an SEC game in person. And I just – I don't care what stadium it is. I don't care who's playing. I just want to go to an SEC game. They have to be so special. What were some of your favorite uh, memories from South Carolina? Man, it's, it's, a, it's a million and one memories I have from that place. The number one one was uh, – um, what was it? 2013, 2014, when I first got my offer in the locker room. That was one of the, my favorite memories. Um, and then, uh, you know what I'm saying, just coming out the tunnel, seeing all the fans and how much support we have out there and the coaches and the sandstorm. It's, it's just everything about that school is just special. That's awesome. we got one more question coming up here on Instagram. And like I said, it just seems like every Saturday in the SEC is such an event, such a, such an awesome. I might, I might have to take you to a South Carolina game. I got, I got to get to one at some point. My parents live in the Carolinas, so I've driven past the stadium. I've seen it there off uh, off 77, I believe, or 26, whatever the interstate is, one of them. But but uh, at some point, I'm going to have to get to one, so I may take you up on that. We got Kevin on Instagram with another question. Let's go out to Kevin. Hi, Debo. My name is Kevin Welsh, and I'm from Wilbraham, Massachusetts. Congratulations on an incredible season. Football fans and fantasy football owners who you helped lead to a championship like myself were so lucky to witness such an amazing season that you put together. My question is for you. After seeing the amazing speed that you put on display this year, if you could pick one athlete from any sport to race them, who would it be? Best of luck this upcoming year. Are you going to race, Debo? What do you think? <sighs> See, I don't, I, I'm not really a fast guy. A lot of people think I'm a really fast guy, which I'm not. Um, <sighs> I take somebody I know I probably can beat. I'm gonna go with my brother AJ Brown. There you go. I'd I'd watch that. It'd be fun to see. 
that'd be a lot of fun to see. Did you did you play any other? I know you were a big basketball guy. Did you play any other sports growing up uh, before you really focused on football? Uh, I really didn't like football to be honest. I was a I was a basketball guy. Like none of my friends and stuff knew I was really really good in football because I was always playing basketball. And um, I started taking it serious going to my senior year. I had first I had my first offer from Vanderbilt. I'm um, going into my senior year, and that's when I kind of like push basketball off the burden. But before then, like whenever, like say we made the playoffs for football, I'll quit and go straight to the gym, get ready for basketball season. Like I really didn't care. And now you're the now you're the wide back. <laughs> now you're an all pro and a pro bowler. And uh, I think I think you made a made a good choice here with uh, with the football mm-hmm. line of work. Debo Samuel, our guest here on Fanatics Live. We have the rapid fire portion. Coming up, so Debo, you're going to want to make sure that you are uh, ready and have your A game for this ready, one. Ready, let's in go. The- yeah, we're going to do it. Coming up next, before, uh, but just in a moment here. First, we're going to take a word from our sponsor. Introducing the Fan Cash Rewards Credit Card by Fanatics. Earn six percent Fan Cash when you shop with your card on Fanatics.com with exclusive cardholder perks and six months special financing on purchases of one hundred and fifty dollars or more. Text now to apply or go to Fanatics.com. Today's show is brought to you by the Fan Cash Rewards Card by Fanatics. For more information on exclusive perks and benefits of being a card holder, head on over to fanatics.com or text fan events to 94323 to apply now. Well, Debo, we've come to the final segment here, and it is the rapid fire portion of the show. So I'm going to throw something your way. It could be off the field, it could be on the field, and just give me the first thing that comes to your mind. All right. Cool. All right. Here we go. Well, the first thing I understand, you're a seafood guy. Who's got better seafood, South Carolina or California? South Carolina, no question. No question. What's your favorite seafood item? What's your go-to? Lobster. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with a good lobster. Uh, I like lobster as well. Favorite away stadium to play in? Where's a place you guys go into that you feel just brings out the best in you? The Saints, 2019. 29 specifically Saints back in 2019 seems like there's always an energy in there uh we talked about a little bit ago you have a newborn are you getting much sleep yeah yeah found a way to get into a routine good stuff good stuff well uh favorite one-on-one defensive matchup for you is there a guy that you like to go against the competitor in you just really comes out against uh, I haven't played him since 2019 but Marshawn Lattimore is real tough I like I like to kind of go up against him again that's awesome. That's awesome. Color that you have the most of in your closet. I know you're a fashionable dude. What do you have the most of in your closet color-wise? Red. Red. Well, you look great in Niners red. You can't go wrong. <laughs> Scale of 1 to 10, Debo. 1 being the least bit happy, 10 being the most happy. How happy are you that Russell Wilson is no longer in the NFC West? 10. You are extremely happy about that. Ten. There's probably people in the AFC with a totally different answer than you are having right Damn. now. <laughs> so Russell Wilson, moving on from the NFC West, of course, said, Debo, what was your first big purchase for yourself after you signed your first contract? Oh, my car. Car, what'd you get? I bought a Range Rover. Awesome, awesome. Can't go wrong. Hey, you talked about being a basketball fan. Uh, do you have a favorite NBA team, favorite NBA player that you like to watch? Uh, LeBron James, no question. Um, if he go play for the Charlotte Hornets, I would like the Charlotte Hornets. Whatever team he goes to is the team I'm like. I'm not a bad one, and I'm just a LeBron guy. And he might win the scoring title again this deep into his career. That's uh, that's pretty impressive. The man's NBA still dropping fifties. Oh yeah, recently, uh, just recently, NBA Finals prediction, Debo. Who's it going to be? Can the Bucs do it again? What do you think? I'm gonna go with my South Carolina boys. Uh, I like I like the Grizzlies. I like the Grizzlies too, and Ja is uh, one of the most exciting players in the league. Love watching him play. Great job, Debo Samuel, tonight here in the Rapid Fire and here on Fanatics Live. We thank you very much for being with us tonight, for taking some time out for us. Just a thrill to chat with you and to have you answer some questions from the fans out there. Uh, Before we let you get going, anything you'd like to say to your fans out there? Um, Thank you all for all the support. Um, Sorry we fell up short. You know, I played. I did everything I could do. Um, You know, uh, still more time to come, and we'll be back at it. You know, um, hopefully you see us there this year. An all-pro this past season, first-time pro bowler. He set a record for the most rushing touchdowns by a wide receiver in a season. Debo Samuel taking some time out for us. Debo, thanks again for your time tonight, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.
Debo Samuel, the San Francisco 49ers, kind enough to stop by. Hope you all enjoyed that. I know I did, and we've got tons more fun coming your way here on Fanatics Live. Coming up on the 20th of this month, month uh, March 20th, we've got Evan Mobley uh, stopping by at 6 o'clock Eastern time, third pick in the NBA draft in 2021, so you don't want to miss that. That's coming up on the 20th of March Again, at 6 p.m. And then a couple of nights later, March 22nd, 6.30 p.m. from the Dallas Cowboys, C.D. Lamb is going to be stopping by. So you don't want to miss that. You can follow along on social media at Fanatics. Submit your questions. Find out more information on upcoming episodes of Fanatics Live. And you can go to fanatics.com slash live to see what's coming up, to watch our old episodes as well. Everything archived there. So be sure to go and check that out. Also, folks, before we get going, wanted to let you know that Fanatics is the proud sponsor of the Mint Collective in Las Vegas. That's going to be coming up March 25th to the 27th. It's far more than a sports card show. The Mint Collective will feature panel discussions with athletes and top names in the hobby. In addition, there will be a marketplace with activities and giveaways all weekend long. You'll have the opportunity to learn, trade, and network like never before. Tickets start at just $15, and they are going fast. Get yours today by scanning the QR code right there on your screen or visit themintcollective.com. Once again, huge thanks to Debo Samuel from the San Francisco 49ers for being here with us this evening. Big thanks to all of you who tuned in, everybody who submitted a question. We thank you very much for being on board with us tonight. And a big thanks to our entire crew as always. And on behalf of our entire outstanding crew, I'm Doug Plagans. Thanks again for joining us tonight. This has been Fanatics Live.